Kate, congratulations firstly on re-signing with the Phoenix women. Great news for you. Yeah, no, it is, I think. Um, obviously, last season was was a little bit of a, a challenge, and I think this season it's, it's also going to be a challenge, but hopefully a different kind of challenge, and so that's one I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, I want to ask you about that. Apparently, you had a couple of other offers, though. Were they, were they, were they tempting offers? Yeah, I think it's hard because obviously um, we were a, a team last year that kind of got put together quite last minute and so um, we didn't have the, the biggest pre-season and then we came out and we did what we did in that first game and then we did really well the rest of the season but um, we didn't quite get some results that we wanted and so I think obviously at the end of the season I really wanted to go back and I didn't want to kind of leave the season how it was. I wanted, I wanted more and I wanted to... Um, get the chance to play with the girls again and, and be under Gemma and Nat again if possible. And so, yeah, I think this season that's what I really wanted to do. But I think it's important to have your options open and, and see what kind of is available. But, yeah, obviously I really wanted to go back. And so now that I am, I'm stoked and, yeah, rearing to go. Well, that's a, you know, it's a really mature and committed decision. Did you talk that over with your mum and dad as well? Yeah, my mum and dad, um, obviously they're very supportive and, and I'm very grateful to have them. Um, but they're not football people as such, which I think really works in my favour um, most of the time. But they just wanted me to be happy wherever I was. And so I think they they gave me some non-football advice and they tried right. to give me some football advice as well. But yeah. Kay Taylor is with us, who is our junior Football Ferns captain, which is around her 20s, are off to Costa Rica and has recently re-signed with the Phoenix women on the platform. Look, I wanted to say that, you know, I I thought I'm a football numpty from way back and, and I, I thought that perhaps, the, the you know, the Phoenix women's team in that league were a year too early. I know that there are pros and cons about that. But just the way that you gritted it out and gutsed it out and fought it out was so impressive because it looked like you're out of your depth at times. However, it didn't seem to buckle like you know the confidence or determination of the squad. Then you started to get a, get some good results together at the end of the year. So I think all of that had to be put in perspective about the team's performance, which is why I think it's so goddamn exciting that you've re-signed for next year. Yeah, no, I think we all knew going into the season that it'd be really hard and um, we knew that we... We didn't quite know what to expect. Obviously, we, we could watch the A-League before um, and see kind of who the teams were. And we knew that there were some big names in, in the league and there has been in the past. So we knew that the league was going to be good. And so then, obviously, um, we knew it was going to be a challenge. I think it would be um, naive to think that it was going to be smooth sailing. And I know that um, our second game of the season didn't quite go how we had planned after the first one. But I think it's just building blocks and it made us stronger as a team. Every game we... Um, came together and we we fought for each other and we did what we needed to do. We executed our game plan as best as possible and then the next week we learned. So I think that's going to build this season as well. And um, I think that's what the coaching staff and the rest of the players are looking forward to as well. So what you're saying is that you, you've actually really learned from your adversity because, I mean, it can get on top of you. I mean, the professional game is cruel. You know that. I know that you follow other football and that. It's unforgiving. But that adversity in some ways gives you strength and is going to help you? Yeah, definitely, and I and I get what you mean about how football is cruel. I think we were very lucky with, obviously, we knew the coaching staff, most of the players, um, and so it wasn't um, as cruel as it could have been, which I think was um, a blessing in disguise for us, but there are still aspects of it that, that were hard, and that adversity, I think, definitely made us closer. Um, we Obviously, it was like a bit of a roller coaster. We went up and down and up and down, and I think, and then we ended on the up, which I think is all we can ask for. Kate Taylor is with us. Well, this is so exciting, catching the plane and going to Costa Rica for the under-20s. <clears throat> I'm not sure if how old you were or we, whether you were around when we had the, the men's under-20s here. I think it was 2017. Fabulous tournament. And then we had the women's here as well. Just really, really good tournaments. And you're looking at, well, the potential and the future of the sport. Yeah, definitely. I think um, I remember going to one of those under-20 men's games. It, it wasn't New Zealand, but... I remember watching down in Christchurch and you just it's just a big buzz across the city, across the country, just wherever you go, um, there's people supporting. You can find supporters of New Zealand anywhere for any sports and I think that those are great opportunities for people to be seen on the world stage and so going to Costa Rica will be another one of those big opportunities and obviously next year and we've had the 
um, Women's Cricket World Cup and we're having the um, the Women's Rugby World Cup as well. So they're all big opportunities for women in sport, which I think is awesome. Yeah, well, not only do the under-20s, and of course with your Football Ferns debut, then we've got that coming as well, the Women's World Cup. Look, I wanted to ask you, I don't know whether you've watched any of the women's Euro champs going on at the moment. Did you see that back heel, the nutmeg back heel for England against Sweden? Did you watch that? Of course. I've been watching very closely. Go on. It was a great goal. The whole game yesterday was great. It was so much fun to watch. And just the audacity to pull that off at that moment too. I mean, that's a that's a that's uh, just a worldie, <laughs> isn't it? It is. I, I watched an interview and she said she was more angry about missing the sitter from the first shot she had but made up for it when she did that back heel. Yeah, great save from the keeper, though. Positioned herself perfectly at the same time. But, yeah, what a bust. Well, look, this is all in front of you. So all we wanted to do today was touch base and say fabulous news that you've re-signed and all the very best for captaining our country uh, in Costa Rica. Hope you go well. Thank you very much.